Concrete Cowboys is inspired by the real-life Fletcher Street Stables, an urban horsemanship community which has existed in Philadelphia for more than 100 years. Filming, by the way, is scheduled in Philadelphia through the end of the month. Last week, I made a reaction video, and y'all didn't really like that, so I'll just stick to making review videos and letting you know my opinion. Luckily, I learned from my mistakes, so I'll make sure to never do that again. Today, we're talking about a movie called Concrete Cowboys. I'm only making a review about the trailer, but if you do want to watch the full movie, it's available on Netflix on the top 10 list. Not only that, we're also going to watch a small video of the actors explaining different scenes in the movie and try to give us a better understanding. I really wanted to make this video because it's really special to me, mostly because one of my family members are in this movie and it was filmed in Philadelphia. Only the OG fans know that I still live in Philadelphia to this day. But enough talking, let's check this trailer out. Yo. There's a horse in your house. Oh, that's you right here. I ain't staying here. Right. Once you step out, that door stays locked till morning. All cowboys were black, even the Lone Ranger was black. <laughs> Who's the Lone Ranger? Really? <laughs> Harvey. Oh, 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 oh. Your daddy got rules that you're not abiding by. Yo, yo, what are you doing? You want to ride the street life? You can't be in my house. You want to wise up? You welcome back. Welcome back to what? I ain't got no home here. That's your choice. Only 50 seconds in and this trailer pretty much tells you everything you need to know about the movie. It's a troubled kid. He's gonna learn. There's gonna be a lot of character development here. Hopefully he goes to the good side and doesn't get shot. I'm gonna get my money and I'm gonna get up out of here. You with me or not, bro? But then she still made you a man overnight. I'm your father. You ain't my father! I knew it. I knew it. he was a troubled kid. He's dealing. They got the cops all over him. Uh, and of course it had to be that one friend to get him in trouble. I mean, you a father to everyone else out here. Oh, you hate me, man. I was just like him now. I don't know who they expect us to go up and be if we watching over our shoulder all our lives. I have something for you. Oh, look. Like real cowboy. From that scene right there, I'm pretty sure someone's going to fall in love. Peepees <laughs> believe that breaking a horse meant crushing the will of the animal. Oh. The only way you can realize its true spirit is through love. You don't have to get out to grow up. What's going on? The city decides they don't need horses no more. Y'all trying to tear this place down? It looks like the city doesn't need horses anymore. They're complaining about the smell, I guess. I don't know. But it looks like Peter just came here and brought the force of God down on these cowboys. So I guess Peter is taking these horses away from them. And you have to pay for horses. So they're pretty much just stealing from them. Man, how you gonna do that to us? This is where we live. My sisters and my brothers. They can't take who we are as a people. So what are we gonna do then? We're gonna do what we always do. We're gonna ride. All right, that was actually a good trailer, 9 out of 10. Now it's time to watch some actors actually explain what happened in the movie. Because there is a bigger picture than just being a cowboy in this movie. Hi, I'm Caleb McLaughlin. And I'm Jarrell Jerome. And today, we're gonna take you through a scene from Concrete Cowboy, shot by shot. Just sit tight, all right? You good? It was in Philadelphia. I'm not sure exactly where it was, but it was like this empty lot. And it was a really hot day. Sitting in those seats, my butt was cooking. I was like, ah. What happened was when we were rehearsing it, I didn't know who was gonna come out. Like in the beginning, I was just sitting there like this. Oh, it's a movie. And then Ricky's like, nah, be scared. Like, like, oh my God, this is happening. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's they even got the actors on edge. Let's do it, let's do it. Every actor just on set. Oh, it's a movie. Oh, it's a movie. <laughs> Don't go nowhere. OG who played Jalen, he is also native to Philly and he's from that area, so he knew exactly what he was doing to intimidate us. It's so inc incredible how he was able to act, but it's like he wasn't acting. Filming with him, like when he looks at you, you really feel like you about to get done. Yo, get the fuck out of here. One of the gentlemen that worked on set that helped with the writing process experienced that whole trunk scene, like it was his like actual life. And I got to talk with him on set a lot, but the fact that that's what his past was is crazy. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that this movie is based on a true story? Yo, oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
it was all shot handheld. The cameraman had time to move left, right, and, and kind of get out the way. It just felt so immersive. Yo, you remember that? I now understand the use of stunt doubles. Shout out to the stunt double for getting dragged out of the car. It really looked like it hurt it. I'm pretty sure it did. But without the stunt double, it probably wouldn't look as real. But that's all I can really show before I get copyrighted. But the link will be down in the description to go watch this video for yourself. And like I said earlier, it is available on Netflix at top 10 lists. So go check it out. I'm not getting sponsored to say any of this. I just genuinely like the movie. So you might like the movie also. But that's all I have for today. Peace out.